Hi and welcome to how to use CAD. The 45 degrees rule, that's what I wanted to discuss today. What is it? How do you apply it? And uh, why do we need it? Well, if you stay with me, you'll find out why so many planning applications fail because the 45 degree rule is ignored. So this is going to be a, a short tutorial and it's aimed at architectural uh, uh, technicians and young designers uh, focused on uh, drawings and doing uh, architecture as a career. It's all about the 45 degree rule. Uh, it's maybe something you know about and maybe something you don't but uh, what I wanted to do was to give a brief explanation as to what it is and uh, why or how it's in use and what you need to be careful with. So if we look at the uh, diagram in front here, it's uh, what I've done is, uh, yeah, I'm making everyone go crazy now. Hold on. Uh, what I've done is uh, it's uh, one property here. Uh, we've adding on this extension on the first floor. And what I did was I just mirrored over the the whole thing to the other side because um, if you if you're in a terrace or detached property or a um, sorry a semi-detached property the odds are that if you build a second story extension on the back uh, if you you well it's not possible to do full width uh, on a second story extension they just most of the planners well no the planners just won't allow it and the main reason is because you'd be building this big bulky monster um, which is going to rob your neighbors of light. So in this particular um, example now what we have is uh, the boundary line down the center and if you're proposing to build like, like this extension here if you're proposing to build this out on the first floor so you might have a ground floor extension that's full width and that's fine great uh, and so let's assume you're trying to build a bedroom etc on top of the uh, ground floor extension well the thing of it is you know, what you got to do is you got to keep in mind that at a 45 degrees rule applies from the center of your neighbor's window so to test the theory what you got to do when you're planning and if the client is telling you yeah we want to do a a second story extension etc then what you have to do is uh, with the photographs take good photographs of all the back and so on but make a note especially of where that window is and you what you need to do is to do a calculation uh, as to where it is and when you're doing your plans draw a 45 degree line from the center of that window now in this case uh, we've drawn the line and as you can see I stop short uh, just fractionally on the 45 degree line but what I so what I could have done if I wanted to make it longer was I could keep it over a bit and then make it longer uh, likewise if I wanted it um, wider I'd have to bring it in a bit as long as I don't go over that line uh, then there won't be an issue with planning because the moment I go over that line even by six inches or 150 mil it's going to be picked up on by the planners simply because it's one of those things that they will uh, put their little ruler on top of your plan and they'll see immediately if you've shot and you're going to fail on that uh, so any planning application that overshoots the 45 degree rule is going to fail it's as simple as that and when i say that it's purely on the first floor or the second floor or even the third floor it used to apply on the ground floor in certain exceptions but uh, it doesn't that really doesn't apply anymore so likewise it'll apply to your neighbor if he ever wishes to extend uh, he can't go so what you do here is I'm going to show you how to do it it's pretty simple so I'm going to remove the, the lines we've got here and just remove all of it so if this was your drawing then all you have to do is find the center of the window here so let's assume that's it uh, then tab down here to the bottom tab and then tab to the angle and you go 45 
and that is your line. So let's do a longer one, shall we? So tab now and go 45 and it's adjusted. Likewise, uh, we can do it for the center of your neighbor's window. We can go tab again, 135. And as you can see, um, we're in keeping with the 45 degrees rule. And if you're not quite sure if you're measuring, you know it's uh, this one on the dimensions tool. So, um, and there you go. That's your 45 degrees. Uh, so, uh, it's that simple. And, uh, hugely important so never build uh, so that you exceed the 45 degree rule so I just I don't think there's much more to say about it other than uh, it's 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 a lesson it's a life lesson it's something you have now and you keep it until the legislation is changed so that the planners start to ignore it okay thank you very much for joining me um, see you on the next video